That clock keeps ticking like a metronome. Hi, my thoughts keep telling Morley. me to get me home, Late but my work. balls keep telling me to let Late me dinner. Oh, oh, just let me. I'm go. just fine. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me go. Oh, oh just let me go. Come on. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts We're back. keep telling me to get me home, but my balls Hopefully keep quit telling works. me to let me go. And I'm broadcasting live from Lardier. If this is the most bad ass YouTube broadcasting all in on land, ladies and gentlemen, I am Tommy Sue. This is a shot of the boy. This is a really wacky podcast. I'm a wacky guy. Like Matt, you wacky? Uh, totally wacky. Wacky mm. guy? You know what's really wacky about you? Uh, what is that, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna take it. <laughs> I was, I was, I was trying to give you a rebound. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Quite kind today. When we're, you're writing yeah. jokes before. Yeah. It's the fact that um, you you have to shape your eyebrows because they connect. I don't know. Um, no, yeah, totally. <laughs> Matt's not wacky. Sorry. <laughs> well, you really can only be one wacko. I mean, look at the beta nah. podcast. Yeah. True. <laughs> Yeah, have so many wackos. And everybody says I suck, but um, I was trying. Um, I, I, I knew there couldn't be three fucking wackos. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. You're just the guy that laughed. Yes. <laughs> yes. No influence whatsoever. <laughs> That's why I sucked after I left. <laughs> <laughs> You never, you never hear, you never hear. They don't, they don't, they, they don't ask that fat fucking Australia where the scarce episode is. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very true. No, it is. It is. Um, yeah, let me get into this horse shit right away. Um, wrong one. Uh, no. Oh, was it? Oh. Where, where's my gator? That's not my getter. That's not it either. What happened to me getter? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm on getter. Um, I'm pushing people towards it. I I was inspired by Joe Rogan, and I'm uh, um, you know, uh, uh, an alt right wacko, and I was influenced very easily, um, like that movie Cuck. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see that fucking movie. Uh, I, heard, I saw the trailer. Yeah, it's That's fucking funny, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking funny. I love the yeah. fucking college student that made that fucking piece of shit movie. You're like, this is really deep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 Do you think he was writing that script being like, I'm going to change the world? I'm going to bring light to this this phenomenon we're seeing online. Yeah. Should he, um, you know that song, The Kids All Right? The Bad Religion yeah. did a uh, did a cover. The kids are alt right. I guess it's just too too shocking for those '80s assholes. To, Great, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm I'm on here, and I am on here for um, a legitimate reason. Um, well, I have. I I think when you have the guy that was so involved in the vaccine getting kicked off of tw now YouTube too, uh, they took the the, the podcast down. Um, you know, the, 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 there's a serious problem here. We, you know, the, the the social media is interfering with our elections and our democratic process, and of course, the freedom of speech. If if the guy, if that guy can't question the narrative, nobody can. What was his name? Morgan? I don't fucking know. Whatever his I... name was. Now all of a sudden, he never did shit. Apparently, he was fucking like me in high school, just fucking off all the time. He's he's a dummy. Malone. That's his name. <laughs> he's a big fucking dummy he never did anything he's lying about everything he's like sure sure um, and apparently he says Fauci's a monster he said something about Fauci, Fauci getting somebody cancelled in the 80s over the AIDS thing I didn't I didn't get enough time to look into it but uh, you know banning presidents banning this so I want to do this and here's the thing I'm going to encourage you to go here because I'm going to say something and we're going to test this system. I'm not going this totally blind. I'm not going to give you some free speech bullshit uh, story why you should do it because this is a better place. I don't fucking know. I get banned tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I don't know. So 
I promise to say something that would get me banned on any other fucking platform every day. Every day, right? And the, a lot of the stuff when I do stuff on gaming, not, not big story gaming, like the shit that I like, I'll put it there, you know? I'll put more personal stuff there, I guess, or, or you know, how I'm feeling that day, which is usually murderous. <laughs> <laughs> I think about... I remember thinking when I was in Iraq, like, yeah, I used to have those fucking, not fantasies, dreams about being in war. Like, although my war, nothing really fucking happened, but, um, <laughs> to me. <laughs> and then I was like, here I am. I'm in a fucking shock. So, yeah, that's, I'm still like 15 years old at heart and just angry at the fucking world, so I'll just put it over there. And you guys that, um, I, and, and you guys that, um, there, there are a handful of jackasses out there that like my politics, uh, but most people turn in here for the yucks. <laughs> I think I'm pretty Absolutely. good at delivering the yucks. And I will continue to deliver the yucks. And I think I'll use uh, Twitter. I'm not going to abandon it or anything like that. Um, I'm going to use Twitter as, uh, you know, more to what we do over here. What we do over here. You know, the, th the things we touch on over here. And I'll be myself more over there, I guess. Not that I'm going to be myself on Twitter. It's just that I'll, I'll keep it more YouTube commentary community. Uh, big gaming stories. Big ones. And dick pics, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no dick pics. Sorry. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, give it a ban. shot. And the way I see it is this. I understand, like, everybody's coming up to me. Well, they banned, um, uh, who they banned? Uh, uh, the Groiper himself. Um, uh, Nick Fuentes. They banned Fuentes, supposedly. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I do. I, I think that's a problem. No. Uh, it, it, if you're going to say it's open political discussion, you have to let the communist and the Holocaust and I am right, right wearing lacos on too. You can't be both. The way I'm looking at this is it's sort of like, you know, what you can get away on with YouTube, you ne can't necessarily get away on Twitch. And you got to, you got to like push the, push the envelope with this shit. And uh, I think giving another company the support, if it fucks up, let's go to another one. So I'm always kind of, uh, always, always been really good in the alt tech front. Uh, I know he wouldn't go here now, <laughs> but this is my this is my effort. <laughs> you know, yeah. This is this is my effort to support that. And if it's fucked up, or if I get banned for fucking something stupid, um, like most of the stuff that would get me banned is um, I I would never ever 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 and, and please don't. You know, I almost ruined my life because of, of my anger issues. Um, and violence. Uh, I would never encourage, especially political violence. But that doesn't mean I can't wish bolts of lightning would strike people I dislike. And that's what I'm going to do over there and uh, protect my Twitter account that way. So if I have really something to say on Twitter, like um, I, 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 I fantasize about this particular person getting strafed by World War II um, uh, air, air, fighter jets, I'll say it over there. <laughs> you know? But there no, certainly, I would, I would never, I would never encourage. I could say never encourage political violence. I mean, the fucking revolution was fucking political violence. I mean, there is a time for it, but it's not now. <laughs> All right. I, yeah. It's not now. But if if it is now, I'll say it over on fucking Gitter. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. I'll well, say it on, on there. You. I'll say on Gitter. And... Um. I'll also tell you about the, how the moon landing's bullshit, and you know, <laughs> I'll become a big anti-faxer. <laughs> so I, I really don't say anything. I, I I don't think I've ever said anything um, that was really outside the bounds. Um, at all, ever, that would have got me banned. And, like, I'm, I'm going by Howard Stern standards. Parlor. Why not give us a try again, Mr. C? Because <laughs> I can't even get the fucking thing. Yeah. So, the way Tim Pool explained it, too, is you gotta get in, you got you gotta get in there, right? And you gotta play by the rules until, and really until the government comes in and says, just something like they did with Phantom Lord, you can't ban people until you tell them exactly what you're banning them for. And your TOS cannot be fucking vague just so you can do whatever the fuck you like. And I think if you're going somewhere else and if they're going to push back even a little, maybe not 100%, maybe not as much as I would like, I think that's that's a good thing to do. So I'm really, guys, I'm, it's, it's in my bio. McGeer, come get her. Get her done. That was a big thing when I moved over to your town. 
Get her done. They yeah. were just saying that. Get yeah. it done. I wish World War II planes strafed those fucking people back then. I used to think about it all the time. <laughs> My people? That's we were saying get her done. For a person of color? <laughs> My people. <laughs> But you know, you know the other thing is the northern kids started doing it too, and that's when it really started fucking acting. They were like, yeah, man, get oh, that, yeah. man, fuck that, yeah. yeah. But nobody says motherfucker like more evilly than a, I was practicing before, by the way, than a southerner. What are you doing there, oh, mother motherfucker? Hey, motherfucker. That's so weird, motherfucker. I don't know, I'm north. here now, boy, you dumb motherfucker. He's in, you dumb motherfucker. You listen good and listen right here. You know, that sounds like evil, like you're going to fucking skin him alive or some shit. Where I'm from, yeah, like, shut up, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Where he's trying to be a black guy upset. Up north. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. Bunch of wee grows in the north. So I hope you check it out. I uh, hope you give it a chance. Um, let's spam it in the chat. <laughs> Probably. Who's all on there with you, Tommy? Um, well, you know, you can see me. Brit Bong, Amos E, and Chris Chan. They're on there, too. So <laughs> There you <Okay>. go. <laughs> so enjoy. Get her done. Get her done. Get, get her. Oh, that'd be great. Maybe you should hire What's-His-Face for that. Oh, Larry the Cable Guy. Larry, the, the, face Larry the Cable Guy. He was another one. They interviewed Kyra Top today on Rogan, or the other day on Rogan. And, uh, you know, he was another comedian like everybody hated forever. The get her done guy. You know. Yeah. True. Turns out, I don't know, it's Caratop, like without the props, fucking Caratop's pretty funny. And I didn't know that. We were watching shit. Yeah, for heard he's a funny I'm fucking guy, man. Kind of funny. A lot funnier than me. Wish I had it. And I wish I had a bicycle with fucking fireworks shooting out of it too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> true. All right, let's wish talk I about money. What? I said, I wish I had his money. Yeah, yeah, made me a lot of money. I just, uh, well, I said to you, I saw him on the half hour comedy hour. He used to be showing MTV. MTV used to have a whole comedy division. And that's when everything yeah. cool came from MTV. And that's where I first saw him. And I remember thinking, I laughed. I, I never thought it was funny. I was 15 at the time. So as I grew older, he became the butt of every comedian's joke. You know, he was like bad comedian, bad commercial sellout comedian. Right. And I just kind of went along with that. I figured, well, I was like 15 at the time. How good could it have been? And I was like, yeah, fuck that guy. And then he started getting all jacked up, looking like he's doing steroids and shit. And I'm like, yeah, fuck that guy. And I saw him interviewed about 10, 15 years ago. He seemed like a really good guy. Yeah. Like a really cool, drink a beer with kind of dude. You know? I guess a little older in my 30s. I'm like, yeah. like why do I have to hate someone that does entertainment I don't appreciate? <laughs> you know, like, when did that happen? Sure. Like, oh, when I was a kid. Motherfucker, fuck Genesis. Super Nintendo's better. I'll kill you. <laughs> you know, that mentality. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. All right, let's talk about this. Well, I can't say. Well, he's, well, I'm, he's still less fat than me. That's probably from years ago. Why does it look like he's wearing a maxi pad? Or is that an adult diaper? I don't know what this is. It, mm. I thought it was in a diaper. Now Somebody's it looks like blood a running pad. down his leg. Uh. <laughs> Not because he's been injured, because he's menstruating. <laughs> so, I mean, I, look, I'm not going to even go into this. You've seen this. He, you know, he's saying that he's not a healthy guy or what have you compared to Joe Rogan. I mean, Joe Rogan's a, a man, and this is a manlet. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, it's just like it, it kind of struck me. Everybody's going after him for the, uh, you know, it's ridiculous. It, look, look uh, uh, um, manlet, uh, black belt taekwondo. Do the math. Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to go that route. I just did. I'm done with it. This guy's got bipolar disorder. He's motherfucking delusional. And, you know, I've seen this before. I've had friends with bipolar disorder. They think things that just simply aren't happening. They have inflated egos. And roll that up a little jealousy because at one time, Ethan Klein saw himself as the God, as kind of the voice of reason, the voice of YouTube, the, the, the exposer of scammers. Turns out he's like the, every other fucking YouTuber. Willing to cut people's throat. We had hints too. I remember the hint. Don't let Pyro defend himself on your platform when he was fucking, oh, I gotta, I gotta undercut Leafy and fucking Pyro. Both, well, Leafy would be still around. <laughs> Leafy was getting yeah. more fucking views at H3. 
He's, he's killing it. He's killing it. Dare I say he's more funny and talented than him? Well, I wouldn't have said that five years ago. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the thing. Like people were all kind of saying that Ethan Klein was the talented guy five years ago. He's like the talent. He takes bits. I, I I think the talent is is that wife of his. Yeah. You know, and and I maybe that's the why she kind of tolerates that shit. You know, because I can't really because she seems like an intelligent, reasonable person. Like, right. why would you let him go on and continue to make a fool of himself? I know. Hello? Ma? Dad? Yeah, I saw what Ethan did. I don't want you to worry about it. We don't make any money from YouTube anymore. I make all the money making ugly clothes. And so it don't matter what he do over there. So I just let him do it. Otherwise, he... he he, you think he's crazy now? It, it, just, just let him do it. It doesn't matter. And if you see him, just tell him he's doing. You're, you're right. Do what I do. You're right. I'm the one that made. I, I've always made all the money. I came up with all the ideas. I shot it. I told him what to do, and that monkey did what he was told. And now, I'm just gonna set this monkey free, and take care of Teddy Fresh. <laughs> 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 I mean, Check the brain. you know, I hate people that diagnose uh, with medical disorders on air, but I'm going to do it for the 7,000th time. This guy's got bipolar disorder. I mean, he's completely out of his fucking mind. He has no idea when he's making a fool of himself. That's why he surrounds himself with, with, with those, um, yes, those apparatchiks uh, yeah. over there. And, and, and it's just constantly sucking his dick. It, it's, it's really wondrous. <laughs> I, like all you got to do to get in a show, and it, you know what? Good on Star Killer, but he didn't make he didn't win one fucking argument with anybody, not one, nah. not one. And good for him, good for him, good for him. Not all cocks taste the same, as Star Killer. Some uh. you just get used to it. You just get it, right? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> you know, I mean that that that's what's like, like, who, are you out of your mind. And the thing that's so cool is like. Joe Rogan never responds. He'll respond to somebody, you know, like the the Avermectin thing, but um, he will never respond to, you know, I guess a Jake Paul type, oh, I'm going to kick your ass, or, or Chank, another delusional fat fuck. That's um, a lot of money, I guess. He, like, he, like no, because, look, the guy's been doing this martial arts shit since he was a kid. You know, he wouldn't be on the premiere. Thanks so much, uh, Nesquik. He, does, um, he wouldn't be on... He wouldn't be the spokesperson. It really, in the, in a lot of ways, the only person that's more the face of UFC than Conor McGregor is Joe Rogan. And has I been. Would agree. And they wouldn't put him in a spot like that if he didn't know exactly what the fuck he was talking about. This guy knows combat. Like, real, end your motherfucking, like, combat. No, I'm not saying that that's that, you know, just knowing that makes you a good man or anything like that, or even a bad man for that matter. But, you know, the way he controls himself, the way he conducts himself, I mean, he, he's got it, he's got it over fucking Ethan like a tent. And I don't even think he's like the smartest guy in the world or anything. I don't think he's stupid. But he does well with what he has because he tries and makes effort to tell the truth. That's it. Doesn't mean he's always right, but he makes the effort. So you have a guy like fucking Ethan Klein, perfectly named, by the way, um, that feel that that really became kind of the voice of and face of YouTube illegitimately because he was not the person he was presenting himself to be, and it must just drive him fucking berserk that a guy like Joe Rogan can get all this attention. Who's going to, like, yeah. if Ethan Klein comes out and says, ex exposes a scam, I got to be honest with you, some ordinary gamer, gamers would be taken a lot more serious. Joe Rogan would be taken a lot more serious, and he can't stand it. He thinks, he thinks this man is a fellow YouTuber. He's not. He's as normie to the bone as it gets. <sighs> don't worry. I don't put real shit, I don't put the real shit in here anymore. I saw you drinking G Fuel. I have like fucking, <laughs> I have like 300, no, three, I, I, oh, oh, I have about 
maybe two hundred dollars worth of G Fuel that I just look at every day that I can't drink. It sucks. <laughs> just uh, give it to your kid, Tommy. No, <laughs> not allowed to have it. I'm never giving it to him. Not one. He's way too little for that. Laura has it. Well. Laura, Laura can drink it, but she can only yeah. have one. Um, she saw Spider Man last night. Nice. And she's in the states. She went to a New Jersey movie theater, and they, my father bought her a, a tub of popcorn. And when I say a tub, I'm saying like an extra large. I'm like, you know, she had to hold. Apparently, she had to hug it with both hands or some shit like that. I'm like, I don't fucking believe. It. That's awesome. That's that's big popcorn. <laughs> Tell him about the twink. All right. <laughs> no, see, I no, I do, I think this guy's delusional. I think he's nuts. I think his fucking wife knows it. I don't know how he can be taken seriously on anything. I mean, he's not even mad enough to argue something that, you know, some kind of principle he holds dear as he gets some fucking dude named Sam Cedar, some washed up politi political YouTuber. You don't watch political YouTubers. Like, I mean, at least watch fucking, if you don't want Destiny, watch Vosh. I mean, at Wait, least they can what? like. Did you just advertise Vosh? If you want to watch Vosh, watch Vosh. I don't <laughs> watch Vosh. I think you're a fucking nice. idiot. Um, oh, you know, like, like I, or you're probably a hypocrite because he's he's a he's a he's an insane communist. But I mean, I don't have a problem with his ideas. Or anything. He can say whatever the fuck he likes. He asked me. Yeah, I don't care. Why would I? Why would I care about my watch? No, I mean, he, I I will I will put this that you know he he does he's one of those. Uh, if he thought he could get away with it, he he talk people and hurt other people. Absolutely. And, and and actually yeah. brushed and, and during January six he walked right up to the door of that. Right. You know, he tried to scare fear mongering the whole mind. You know. Things the commies do to gain power, because they don't they don't ever really get elected. Only country in history to elect and unelect with bloodlessly a communist party was uh, a place kept San it's called San Remo? San I forgot the name of the country. It's, it's right next to Italy. I forgot the name of the country. I T. Uh, I forgot it. Oh, fucking. I could see in, uh, I don't know. Whatever it is. Whatever fuck it is. San Marino. Sorry. There you go. I knew it was going to come to me. San Marino. They elected communists and they lost their next election because they ran the economy in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and they left without shooting anybody or saying the election was fixed and fucking well, taking hostages. Them. Yeah, good for them. Good for them. I'm sure they said, you know, I'm sure it was um, outside issues that kept them from being reelected. Yeah. I'm just really right. unlucky. You know. Maybe reelect us again. We'll get it right this time. You know, we've heard that story before. Yeah, you know, it comes out of uh, you know fuckface's partner's mouth almost every day. True. The world's greatest no Scotsman fallacy. Why communism doesn't work? Fucking was he? Well, when did the Bolsheviks take over? Two thousand nineteen. So a hundred and two fucking years. Three almost. 1919, the communism no Scotsman fall fallacy established 1919 to 2022. All right, there we go. Let's do the news. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Ludwig, I like this topic. Ludwig Warren's Twitch streamers like XQC watching shows and movies could be catastrophic. I wish I had to. I, I, my German class said I had a chance to read this. I wish I could. Uh, let me skim to this. YouTuber Ludwig called out Twitch channels watching television shows and movies. In movies in front of viewers, according to 26 year old streamers like XQC, Carl Jacobs, Miskiff are entering, quote, dangerous territories that would come crashing down on them. The Master Chief meta has dominated Twitch since the start of 2020. The trend revolves around streamers watching popular television shows and movies with their thousands of followers. According to YouTuber Ludwig, I can't say his last fucking name. Argon? Ludwig. It's Ludwig, isn't it? Ludwig. Eh, Lud Ludwig. Uh, that's what I said over here, I think. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Ah, fuck him. L Ludwig. Deutsche. Deutsch bag. How about that? Kraut face. <laughs> Is that better? Uh, however, it's only a matter of time before the meta implodes. The mogul money, uh, the mogul money created 
creator expanded to viewers on why the streaming industry needs a course correction. I agree with him, but I don't know what he's going to say and why he's going to say it. Is Does he put a thing in here? The trend where on Twitch, people just watch TV shows. Recently, there's been a swath of people on Twitch just outright watching TV shows. And you might have seen this because... The yeah, it's really, tw Twitch would have fucking learned with no fucking system to claim any of the uh, music for almost ever. And then they get, they get molly fucking whopped. Like, this won't do the same fucking thing. Biggest creator, XQC. And Nick warned about this, like, I don't know how long ago. Does it quite often, where he watches... My room looks like a snow cone, doesn't it? Hmm, yum. Uh, yeah, I would Master say so. Chef, like, you, know, you know what the weird thing is? Is that's like a pinkish red. It's That's the way the camera picks it up. It's actually fucking red. Red is death. On this in the past, yeah. and it kind of like is this almost um, alt right rabbit hole of YouTube where you start by watching like kitchen night. Oh, I hate Ludwig already. Man. Him and fucking him and him and goddamn what's his face should go bowling. Xander Hall, what? both of them falling around all around the pipelines. It's kind of like, yeah, it's because that just happens all the time. There's, you know, and they have like little three minute, four. What about all the commies that fucking Vosh and uh, created? They're dangerous people historically. I mean, clips or sometimes compilations. And then you just outright start watching full episodes. And then you just watch straight up MasterChef episodes. And no, th that's not the reason. The reason they stop it because fucking Twitch doesn't do anything about it. When Twitch comes one time and says, knocks the stream off, bans them for a day. That's the end of it. Like that day, that's it's over. Party's over, and, and and that's that's kind of the rabbit hole that's been happening. And XQC I, at least once a day, it feels like boots up a little bit of Master Chef, which seems like a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, there's probably no better content than the content that was other people make <laughs> made by the uh, the team hey, at Master Chef. So yeah, it's fucking crazy. There's just straight up watching TV shows on stream and. <laughs> Look, the thing is, I had a friend, and I won't say who, but he's someone who's super into anime. And a couple years ago, he wanted to get into streaming. And he wanted to be like an anime streamer, and he was asking me for advice. Learn like, to edit. What he should do to like kind of carve out a, 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 a niche for himself. And I told him, I was like, yo, this is going to sound crazy. You should straight up just watch anime. The fact of the matter... Susie Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. Is if you just straight up watch anime, Twitch is the wild, wild west. They won't take you down. I think he's going to say what I think he's going to say. Yeah, there you go. That was good advice. You'll get a shit ton more viewers because people like watching it live. And if you get in trouble, it'll probably just be like a 24-hour ban yeah. and then you can just move on from it. And that was that was, that was was my advice. They didn't end up going with it, but that was my advice. And I knew that because although this is something... Why wouldn't you listen to a guy that's already a fucking established? So you got to understand, like, you get fucking advice from XQC, Ludwig... Or any of these things. It's, it's money. It's money. It's free money. I don't know, man. I'm going to do that. It's happening a lot with, like, English speaking. And then what you could have done, I'm sure that streamer never turned into shit, right? Because he would have said his name. Um, and if he'd been doing it the whole time and then he got that 24 hour RAM, then he could change and he already has his fucking huge audience. Right. Instead of doing it like Susie Lou did it and tried to fight it and said, ah, look, we can't do that anymore. Let's go on to the next thing. Streamers. This has been happening. Like, this has been happening for a while. Now, I, look, I would like to first and foremost, before we continue the story, can we smiley face and chat? No narcs. We're not narking here. All right? I don't... I don't think you're narking. I, I don't see a goddamn narc. No, I, I know, I know what you're saying. Right? Can I get an amen? Shut the fuck up. God damn it. The purpose of this conversation isn't to expose these people in hopes that a company takes them down so that their streams are in the Scrubby. kaputs in my stream. <laughs> <laughs> you should stream anime. Thanks. You should have told me that. Bro, it'd be great. You stream anime, you just talk shit about it. The whole I need time. to talk to you afterwards, Crowley. I, I, I can talk to you soon. I haven't seen Send Happy New Year yet, by the way. Uh, yeah, you just rise. talk shit about the anime the whole time. Yeah. Mean, that'd, that'd be a good idea. I need your help, Scrubby. It's a very special mission. It has to do with what's behind me. This is from the ashes like a phoenix and I become you the know. biggest streamer in the world? No! It's more so because I think things have gotten a little out of hand and I think we might need a bit of a course correction 
before this all comes crashing down. How does he mean anyway, crash down? streamers have been watching a shit ton of TV shows and even outright watching movies. You think that's his forehead sweating or all the grease in his hair making his fucking forehead glow? What do you think? Uh, it might be the grease in his hair. Maybe. Okay. Could okay, be so sweat, like, though. Yeah. You see watching, watching MasterChef? Honestly, he does. He's like, he's, yeah, maybe he's really into it. Honestly, I don't even think it's that bad. You guys might remember like four years ago, Trainwrecks did man. the same thing. Four years ago. I remember because I used to watch him because he'd start at like <laughs> midnight. Every time I'd fall asleep, it'd be to train. See, I want to hear what he says. Uh, this, this is, I wish, you know, can, can we go, can we skip ahead? I think it's a problem that's going to bite a lot of ass. It's not the only people doing, but I think it's going to bite everybody ass for treatment. Don't chill. A lot of people, now they're going to get around to it eventually. I don't think it doesn't matter to chilling. There's a lot of people watching TV shows and movies and deleting their VODs. They're getting too complacent. They're getting too risky. So he does mean it. Yeah, and it's going to happen either way, I think. Yeah, uh, XQC actually responded. Uh, I sent you the article. What is it? Fuck you, man! What are you talking about? That's a lot of money, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess. That's so crappy. It seems like it is. Here comes all the basement dollars making fun of Tommy's bathtub anime review. No. Uh, There's a show, it's fair use! <laughs> Nick did like a great video. Been... Nick did a video on this last, not this summer, summer four. And saying this is common. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what, what did he say? You get that? I'm see yeah, it's in your DMs. Sorry. But, is that a dog? Um. <laughs> He hits back. What's the hit? He did exactly. I was literally making fun of him, and he did it. <laughs> There's nothing to hit back. Well, he, he is dumb as rocks. Now I still take his advice on stream, but he is dumb as a rock salt, and he knows what gets views. What, 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 what did he say? Because the biggest creator XQC. The guys, guys, don't try, guys, don't try, guys, this is, this is my critique. I think he's just mauled, he's just mauled, because he swapped car, and that car ran out of gas real fucking fast, dude. Wow. So he, ta he takes it as, this guy's just jealous. What a simpleton. Word for word, Tommy, what, what you predict? Yeah, this guy, this guy, <laughs> 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 like I said, <laughs> this car, and got banned three times in the span of three days, okay? What's that so got to do with this guy? You know, he made it abundantly fucking clear, abundantly clear, we're not snitching, we're not complaining, we're just saying, fucking companies are gonna come in and fucking put the kibosh on this. And, XQC, you got history with this shit. You, it's happened before with music, you dumb motherfucker. I'm so sorry, I gotta delete his, this is my personal history. Remember that chat? Put a one in the chat. If you remember Twitch streamers pissing and m m m m m m moaning about having to delete VODs that meant so fucking much to them. Where he watches MasterChef, he's done this in the past, and it kind of like is this almost uh, alt right rabbit hole of YouTube where you start. <laughs> that guy can just call me a Nazi? <laughs> by watching, like. <laughs> he's a dumb fuck, and he'll always, he'll die a dumb fuck. Rich one. I don't even he's a bad guy. Like, like, like. Ethan's a, well, Ethan might be a bipolar disorder. That's what I think. But he'll die a dumb fucking probably. I, you know, I don't think XUC is a bad guy. I really don't. Yeah. I'm just jealous that he's a Twitch streamer and I don't have a fucking b -b 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 point. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I thought Ludwig was pretty. He didn't get the fucking point, but I mean, yeah. It's probably about money, too. All right, this guy. Uh, he's my uncle. Uh, he's got a prediction. Betty White is 100 and I'd still smash. Betty White dies this year. Mark my words. Mark my words. Betty White dies before this year ends. Betty White dies December 31st, 2021. I'm tired of her. I'm tired of Betty White and her immortality. I'm tired of her <laughs> existence. I'm tired of her uh, necromantic pox that she's cast upon the media industry. <laughs> she is a witch. She is a wizard. She has 
uh, necromantic yeah. abilities. Yeah. She's probably been resurrecting herself this entire time. Science. She'd fuck up your face. Strickland Thanks a lot for the 200. That's fucking funny. Why did she get to be 99 and my grandma left at 72? Because Betty White has been sucking the essence out of all of the other elderly people for the last 99 years. And I decided it was time to put a stop to it. <laughs> I decided I was going to save us. My You're welcome. Jews, New Jersey. That's part Your of New Jersey. Your parents are welcome. Your pets are welcome. Your children are welcome. <clears throat> Adrenochrome. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Betty White goes around snapping the necks of fetus babies. <laughs> sucking the juice right out. And I decided, you know what? I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this. And I summoned up a level 7 hex. And I ended her existence. It took a lot of energy out of me to summon up that hex. And now... I love this guy. <laughs> love him. We're finally able to come back and, and be revitalized because I was building up that hex energy for yes, so I long. Hex. I was building up that essence of hex. That's why it's been so low T around here. That's why it's been so tiring and strange and confusing because I was building up my hex energy and I unleashed it upon her and I said, this is it, you evil witch. <laughs> All right, who is this asshole? Do we know? So this guy, he's like a Twitch comedian. He does a satirical online advice show. Yeah. Uh, he's been on the Twitch subathon train and he mm -hmm. did over a month of streaming during the stream. Uh, the stream obviously predicts Betty White. The clip went viral when she actually died on the 31st. So it went viral. And he does the rant. Well, this was uploaded on the 31st. I don't know if it was recorded, but you can clearly see he's reading off his monitor. Look well, close, kids. Look close, kids. No, he got the news. And I've been told that Betty White died on the 30th. And we didn't find out till the 31st. That may not be true. I don't know. I've well, been told the, that a couple. The date on this says the 26th at the bottom. Uh, this says the 30th. Well, not the video. I'm talking the about the video. Is there any way we can video. prove it? Well, let's go to. Uh, Dead Freak would know. I mean, Dead Freak would know for sure. He say on 26th is pretty impressive. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure he yeah, said. Yeah, guy's pretty good. Maybe earlier. Pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, hold on. Betty White is 100 and I'd still smash. Betty White dies this year. Mark my words. Is this a, you can upload on Twitch too. Is this a, is this a is this a cut? This is ten days ago. Ten days ago was fucking. Uh, it was more than the twenty seventh. Yeah. So one two three four five six seven eight nine. No, it was earlier than that. So yeah, it's twenty six. Oh, it says three still, still, still until December twenty. It's twenty fifth probably. Right. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I think this guy's gonna be dying being too fat. That's just a guess. <laughs> Me, maybe. Well, uh, you know, yeah. complications with something to do with fat. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. I and mean, he comes out and says, "I yeah, I hexed her." <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, she got me back. I don't know. Everybody's upset about Betty White dying. And like, look, I wasn't. <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't that big a deal to me. She's 99 years yeah, old. Yeah, that's what I thought. The only thing that was kind of fucked is I read this article that she was like quoted in. It was like, ah, just keep a positive attitude. And, you know, that's why I've lived so long. Like, she fucking knows. You know? Yeah. I'm really excited about my 100th birthday. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm doing great, it's guys. Nice she died. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I would have liked to see her hit the hundred. I think we all would have. You know. Nah, not all of us. This guy wouldn't have. This guy wanted him to go right to the <laughs> fucking day before and drop. And it just goes to show yeah, you, man. Those, nobody. What, what my great grandfather told my grandfather going to World War II. He said, "You get hookers in Saudi Arabia." No, he didn't say that. He said, uh, um, "Nobody's got a contract with God." That's what he used to say. I mean, you don't really have to be, uh, if you're, well, I'm an atheist, so I don't believe in God. But no, your time's up, your time's up, motherfucker. That, that's that's, that's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color. Uh, someone needs to link uh, Ethan the CNN fat people okay. die of COVID article. Um, okay, so Freak just sent me like his reaction, to re his like reaction in real time to Betty White dying. Oh, oh really? Okay, well, Freak, is Freak putting his yeah, reputation on this? Like, that's... I, I, anyone is so dead? Is she really dead? Did I call it? 
Oh, now he's not in character. Yeah, yeah that stupid pain in his face. Is there any way we can interview this guy? Is he too big for us? I don't know. I, I, like, like, I, I, don't know, know, I think this guy would make a fantastic fucking... He plays WoW. Yeah. She's dead! <laughs> 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 I said she was gonna die before the event! I fucking called it, dude! I called it! I said Betty White would die before the event! I fucking called it! <laughs> Betty White dies at age 99, I fucking called it! She died before the year ends, I fucking called it! <laughs> like that? Ah, Betty White. That's fucking funny! <laughs> that's fucking funny. That's funny. <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> Follow me on get her, bitches! And everything else, go to the description box below. I'm gonna say one thing on Gitter every day that'll get me banned on a social media platform until I get banned. Like, I don't give a fuck if Betty White. Do you imagine if I said that fucking on 31st? Uh, yeah, that fuck would Fuck Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> see, see, want to see that kind of reaction? I'll be doing that on... She's dead! <laughs> Making that shit up every fucking day, finally something happens. <laughs> That's too funny. It's very, very funny. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Let's go back into Joe Rogan. Um, I've been I've been into Rogan lately. Can you tell? Yeah. Uh, Joe Rogan defend uh, Joe Rogan defends Jake Paul over a rape fight accusation. He's fucking good. Really? Shocked. Well, he must be if he's knocking everything the fuck out. Joe Rogan jumped yes. to the defense of Jake Paul amid the claims that his knockout over uh, Tyrone Woodley was staged. I think he probably has insane punching power. With the UFC commentary speaking glowingly of Paul's, uh, Paul's boxing sk skills. Let's see if we get a quote. Uh, well, I mean, I, I still want to see him against a trained boxer. You know what I mean? Not a while, like a guy on his way up. Yeah. I, I, don't, I just, I don't see him doing that. But still, it, it's definitely impressive what he's done. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, he's been working no his way up, like, each fighter. Each yeah, fighter. but, you know, nobody, working your way up and the working your way up way he, he has, is it's just completely different the way an actual fucking boxer would build him the way up. But, you know, you get the knockouts, you get the knockouts. I mean, you Rogan quickly dismissed the notice that, notion that it was fake, even predetermined, uh, but no, uh, but noted that taking one of the UFC's weaker punchers uh, was a clever was a clever move by the, the Paul Camp. Yeah, probably. See, that's what I mean. I don't know. Can he, can he take it over and over again from a power puncher at his weight class? I don't think so. I don't think so. I didn't know that he was one of the weaker punchers in the UFC. I always was told that he actually had a good right or something. Well, let me, my appear, appear, uh, uh, appeal to authority policy right here. Um, I'm, I'll take Rogan's word for it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'd agree with you. Yeah, I don't think so. I'd concede very quickly. You concede. I like yeah. when you concede. Concede! <laughs> okay, calm Concede! Down. Concede, <laughs> I, I bitches! Concede. 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 I, did. I already did. Conor McGregor, the coach, yeah. shares update on Jake Paul fight rumors. Yeah. I, I, if he knocks Conor McGregor out, I don't fucking I'd jump off a fuck. Is he even 40 yet, McGregor? I don't think so. No. No. I think he's my age or he's a little older. Now he's not topping his. Uh... Has he ever got a chance of getting back into it? Probably not. I still think he's got some left in does he? Does he for a title? No, but I think he's got enough to like have bigger, big fights. He's big got enough games. to get his ass kicked by a younger guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to see him strut around the ring like Vince McMahon. Uh, his efforts to get McGregor attention include that would be a fucking seller. But you see the thing that Dana White did? He says, your pay-per-view buys are shit. Um, yeah. And you sit there and challenge superstars. Like, people... You know, the other guy's carrying. And then he said, you know, if you want to test me for coke, let me test you for steroids, motherfucker. You know. True. He kind of danced away from that. that he, 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 he danced away from that challenge, didn't he? Uh, I think they're still working there, working something out. Uh, with the steroid test? I think, yeah, I think, I think Jake Paul said he's willing to do it. 
Yeah. <clears throat> but I think there's funny some next fight. He's like as skinny as Deji. Uh, <laughs> That'd be funny. Like the, yeah, it's like Hulk well, Hogan uh, in the early nineties. Uh, Jake Paul went, uh, lost some weight for this fight. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember Hulk Hogan in like '93 when he was like totally deflated yeah, after the steroid yeah. scandal. Yeah, it was great. Listen, brother, is that Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I thought he's bigger. Looks like <laughs> Listen, brother, Jesus, deflated. Uh, we still went on fucking wrestled big matches. Oh yeah. Uh, dream ratio is Jake Paul with hilarious boxing challenge. That's what? Three days left on my offer, Dana. I'll retire from boxing forever. You're running out of time. <coughs> and Dream just says I can kick his ass because that's how big he is. I forget how big I forget how big Dream how big Dream is. Sometimes, you know. Yeah. Hundred thousand. He's well, he's huge. He's fucking monster. Yeah. He's Tommy in it, cowboy, um, piggyback, and all of that shit with his sixty k. You know, really, if you think like was, I mean, I see he did definitely ever did more, and he you know got you know these bigger highlights. But we're dreaming Tommy in it. We're, we're, we're Logan and Jake ever as big as fucking dreaming on Tommy in it. At least no. on this planet. I don't think they've ever got. I don't think big. they have. Now he like I mean Jake and Logan are more Hollywood, but I mean these guys are their numbers are just berserk. You know? Yeah, berserk. Well, I like how he ruined John Swan. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, that was funny. Nah, you know, John's last video was good. And then he responded to that idiot. I still think it was funny. Put one in the chat if, uh, even if you liked it. Did you think it was funny, the whole John Swan drink thing? There's, there's a lot of comedy there. I thought I'm it was happy. I'm not happy. Crazy. I'm not happy. I, let me take that back. I really, I'm not happy he's ruined. I just think it's hysterical. <laughs> so that's the whole kind situation of a, is just hilarious. oxymoron, double stick. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> but, well, the situation. I'm coming up a year the too. autistic you know? brother. It's yeah. Great. You know. Yeah. How many autistic, put one in the chat if you're one of the, People that fell for that fucking autistic brother horse shit. I bet there won't be as many ones. <laughs> something tells well, me. Well, I mean, you know, quite a few did. I know, actually. mother. I let, let me tell you something. I know your name. I know who you are. And I know what you wrote in my chat. And I never forgot because I'm Irish and I can't let anything go. <laughs> so if you fucking called me into question, we're cool. But I remember and don't think I'll ever forget. Ever. All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, woman who made 37,000 pounds a week selling farts. Well, good for her. Hospitalized for trying to fart too much. You really didn't have to fart in there. He just fucking said he did. Like, do you really well, think I mean, that was just want to put in the work? You really got to admire that. It's, it's industrious. It works. It actually, I was listening to a podcast and they were selling one of their farts and they were testing it out. And it actually works. Like if you put a, if you, you fart, a in, a fart jar in a jar and jar? you close it, if you close it and then you open it up and sniff, it's a, it smells like a fart. It's pretty How crazy. many days? Uh, if shit in there I too, I bet it like smells a, like a fart. Two or three days or something. I can't remember. She made a short fart. Former reality star, two hundred thousand dollars pars from farting in charge, has announced her retirement. <laughs> we read your number up to the rafters, Lee. <laughs> uh, Steph Mateo, thirty-one, sounds like some dopey girl I grew up with. She should be cutting hair, not farting in jars. Yeah, there's a there's a log in that fucking thing. What are you doing? Oh my god, cause she's hot. That's why. Steph Mateo uh, from Connecticut. All right, that's all right. There you go. I uh, recently found herself in A&E with symptoms of a heart attack. Oh, because she's probably pressing, right? Yeah. She could have just put fart spray in there. Nobody would have known the difference. This would be taking a DNA test or something. Like, that's not your, that's not your DNA. Concerned about doctors performing blood tests on the electrocardium, but she's told that the 90-day fiancé TV star... And the symptoms were actually caused by excess gas 
with her frequent diet of beans, eggs, and banana protein shake. <laughs> she had a fucking heart attack. She's a fucking beautiful broad. I don't know why I smell her farts, though. Why don't you just take your clothes off like a normal person? <laughs> oh, I mean, the Get money a, she was making, though. Get a fucking She's OnlyFans. Like a a, 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 a thousand right dollars a jar, Tommy? Come on. dollars a jar. Yeah. And how much she's making a week, a month? She's selling 100 yards a month? 200 yards? Yeah. Yeah, like, it was big money. I think she was selling, like... No, you send me a grand, I'll fart and fucking anything you like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you a Snickers bar if you really like it. <laughs> you know. Oh. <laughs> Little uh, chunky chocolate yeah. or something. Yeah. Give me enough money. Yeah. Send that shit expressed. I'll, I'll handle the shipping. <laughs> Why not? Uh, <laughs> it's fucking funny. She's good looking broad though. I just want to see her titties. I don't care about her farts. I don't know. Like you know why I'm normal. I don't know. I'm fucking you, normal. You would still want to see them after like reading this article? Yes. I'm not smelling. Like, all farts. I can think about is a fart. Like, I'm looking I, can, at, like, I mean, I'm, I'm like kind of happy here because I'm getting half, uh, half a teat in this yeah. picture. This has to be watched. I made $45,000 in one week selling my jars of farts. And ever since my last TikTok went viral, I've been getting a lot of questions such as, how long do the farts last? Did I really fart 97 times in two days? Who buys my farts and why? And what are some of my tips and tricks? <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of clips. <laughs> Big shout out to the news team for this episode. Oh, yeah. U.S. could be under a right-wing dictator by uh, 2030, Canadian professor warns. You think that right-wing dictator will, I don't know, ignore orders from the Supreme Court and have mandates that aren't backed up by data? I, I don't know. Does that mean we're in a left-wing dictatorship now? Yeah. Go away, JXC. I don't know. You got your DMs open, Tom. Yeah, I know. JXC wrote me. We're lovers. Go, nice. go right, go right, Jackson. He said, uh, "We're lovers." Okay. <laughs> so, uh, see if he unfollows me. Tommy, see, we saw your DMs. Apparently, you're lovers of Tommy. See, go right, Jackson. Sorry, Jackson. Uh, we'll see if he unfollows me. That'd be funny. Um, yeah. I don't know. That right wing dictatorship for four years didn't seem to affect fucking anybody, except the media. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, uh, Twitch people are under fire for pushing his dog into a fridge. Oh, clearly he deserved it. Who's this guy? I I don't know a lot about the story. I didn't look into it. I, I hear. I just want him push. Like, uh, let's, let's see this. I'm dipping. The uh, fuck! Get the fuck! Did he hit her? Oh, that's fucked. Oh, eh, that was a little yeah, rough. Yeah, that's. It pissed me off. Yeah, I see. This is not gonna be funny. Go oh, fuck yourself, dude. What a douche. Problem is, is that why people are mad about it is because it was in a video that was a highlight of 2021. So people are like, damn, he put this in a highlight video. It's my fault. Jesus. I didn't look at the video. It's not Weedo's fault. It's not the editor's fault. It's no one's fault. You know what I'm saying? So it's my fault. Okay. Whoops, I put my dog in the fridge. My fault. My bad. <laughs> he put it in the... That's 2021. <laughs> Video starts at 50. Uh, oh wow, we still thank God. Oh, I'm wonder if I'll get fired. Great. No, well, don't put your dog in the fridge. Flamenco got clipped. What was he doing? Yeah. See, he never got that match with. Um, I actually bought that stupid game because of him. Guilty Gear. I think he's still having it. I, His match? I think it's going to be. Yeah, I think he's still having warm it. Up. I sure. tried that game hard. I can't even fuck. I'm so stupid. I'm not even that stupid. I'll tell you what, I was getting control. I, I, you know, the problem is, you play fighting games, you gotta put the time in. You gotta put the work in. It's a pretty good game, right. by the way. Guilty Gear, Strike, whatever it is. I don't know about all that weeby shit, but... I like fighting games. <laughs> They're fun. I gotta fucking... Look at me. I'm not even weeb, but I have one of these. Uh, fucking Hex might get upset with me. <laughs> fuck! There you go. What the fuck is that? I got a Toki for... Let me tell you something, Flamenco! I'm gonna take you 
and Guilty Gear, and I got my Atoki, Korean made. Not from the Master Race, from the Masters of Fighting Games. Hear those clicks? There's nothing like it. Hell yeah. Listen to this. Oh, you don't even have to depress these buttons. And I literally, this is all made of stainless steel. I'm not even kidding you. Ow. I could beat you to death with this. I could pick it up and crack. I'd kill you. I'd fucking kill you, Flamenco. I'll do it after fucking, I don't know. Now I really seem to think I'm going to be stealing. I'm literally joking around. Um, they, uh, they're probably thinking I'm honing into fucking Jim's thing. Uh, call me a week after you're done with uh, two weeks after you're done. I was kidding. We can even play offline. And that, everybody's going to think that was a stunt. I just realized that. Nah. He won't. Wow. He won't. No, he won't. He knows I'm fucking around. But everybody's like, well, no, it is. He does. Because, like, if, if that were, if, if, if I were, like, if I were watching a YouTuber do that and I didn't think much of him, I'm like, oh, he's trying to fucking, you know, Flank is getting a fucking break and this jerk off trying to hone in on him. No, dude, yeah. I'm, I'm totally fucking. Ugh. The fuck? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait a week or two and I'll play. It looked fun. It was it was a fun game. I just gotta I gotta have to go through all the fucking. You gotta be like on time with that game. Time yeah. is impeccable. No, I don't want I don't want like fucking even be seen as or I don't want anybody to think even for a second that I might try to steal somebody's thunder like that. That's not my style. Fair Dodger trying to jump turnstile in New York some way breaks his motherfucking neck and dies. I shit you not. 28 year old man has been killed trying to jump the turnstile in New York. I must have done that fucking 20 times in my life. Yeah, that sucks, man. Should have paid it, bitch. <laughs> no, come on. You just said you've done that 20 times. Yeah, but I was smart enough not to break my neck. Uh, police says that uh, Christopher yeah. uh, De La Cruz was attempting to dodge um, the 275. 275? Motherfucker. All right, this is a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. Somebody had every right to chop that. Fucking buck and a half when I was a kid. Ugh. Take the path train, avoid the fare. Oh, that one's gone too. Ah. Uh... You saw the path train? Cause that that that's what path train went directly to. Uh, show how old I am to the World Trade Center, <laughs> the old one. So, what? How the? F oh man. You got the video? <laughs> no, I, I don't think we can watch that. I think that's a clip of a man dying, Tommy. Well, I watch wrestling. The guys break their... <laughs> well, I, mean, I watch Ray Mysterio <laughs> kick a guy and kill him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to make jokes or anything. <laughs> Mikey Perk. Here My favorite middle-aged douchebag behind, besides myself. What's going on? Uh, uh, Dr. Fat Nugs. Thank fucking God. All he does is retweet like tasteless OnlyFans chicks and wonders why his following ain't higher. Is that what he's doing? He has a lot of OnlyFans. Maybe gives a background. On I think he, yeah, I think he's like replying to OnlyFans chicks, you know, flirting with them. Whether it's jokingly or not, you know, it's kind of like tipster maybe a little bit, but you know, he's just kind of. You know, he has I don't give a fuck if he does it or not. I mean, I, look, I, I can't stand this prick. I and mean, he takes any opportunity to fucking act like he's like a, a, a friend to women and all that other shit. Um, not so much to his daughter, but um, like he's he's always sticking his fucking neck out there, acting like he's a male feminist. And then he's liking, I mean, he's you know, it, it's funny. That's the rap on male feminists, isn't it? Isn't uh, it? Yeah. Yeah, that they really don't give a shit play. about the feminism or women. They just want to get their their knob. Yeah, they're, they're they're just guys trying to get laid. Yeah. I mean, I feel superior. This is the guy who said I hate women. I don't know. His daughter would beg to differ. Uh so what's this about? Oh, what's with JXE popping in my shit? I don't know. <laughs> He's been telling me it's a fun one. I was kidding, Jay. I'm not gay. Oh. <laughs> Stop that shit, Jay. Stop it. No, he didn't. I'm, I'm literally talking to him about um, uh, a 
podcast he's recommending. Right. He so people are him. giving him shit basically for it, and he's kind of having a moment. I forgot I left my DMs open. I got this shortly after commenting. Did you leave it open because fucking you thought I'd write you when you ran the Keemstar? Oops. Oh, okay. Oops. Somebody run the Keemstar? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Um, these are the kind of messages I get. Don't be this person. I'll be whatever person I want to be, you motherfucker. It's always private accounts, limited following account. Can I write you now? Nah, fuck it. Maybe he's right. Uh, Ella, I'm sure your wife approves of flirting with young women on Twitter every single day. My wife doesn't give a rat's ass about that. So, in fair, I'm kind of on Brian Mikey's side on this one, even though he's a colossal douchebag. Pretty inappropriate. Who the fuck are you to tell me? That's my wife's job, not you. No, I'm totally on his side. Be ashamed if someone screenshot in literally every instance. Uh, they probably have. <sighs> of you pretending to be <laughs> single. Pretending to be single? I bet he didn't do that. He's got a fucking check mark. He didn't do that. Pretending flirting to be single and using your fucking. Um, Saying your daughter was kidnapped and when you really actually just left the house. Oh, that, that's not what I'm wrong, wrong, wrong sentence. Whoa, okay. I could say I've said that before. Yeah, he used, the, yeah. He used that whole situation. That's not a fucking. Yeah, he used it. He is. He, 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 she took off there and problems at home. He presented it like some fucking cereal. The Ted Bunny got a hold of her. Oh, at the last minute we got her back. Horse shit. Poor shit, another lying fucking influencer. Another piece of shit, big phony. Well, no wonder he's talking to broads. Literally every time instance you're pretending to be single. Although I did get, I have people in the chat say something like this to me. I've had that before. It was a long time ago. Women saying things as a married man should be saying. And sent those. Oh, geez, this is the kind of shit Stern used to get. Man, it really sucked. That's a fucking threat. Kind of funny. My wife's right next to me. Yeah, exactly. And then, like nine times, and then, like she can hear me talking. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I, I still hate him. Uh, you're literally the definition of creepy, Mike. He's pretty cringe. You can flirt with him. his wife's not bad looking either. Oh, broad. Twenty year anniversary. She's got that frozen yeah, over look like pretty. somebody's like, now smile at the fucking camera! Fuck, smile! Smile! That's what it looks like to me. But that being said... <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm smiling, huh? I paid 10 smiling, grand for those fucking teeth! You better smile, you bitch! I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying! I'm doing my best! I'm doing my best! <laughs> That's what it looks like. He's not wrong here. I hate the way he talks. Uh, Laugh my ass off. Sorry about that. Just bad experience with some accounts over the summer. Is that the summer when your daughterly daughter was presented as a fucking kidnapping victim? And you're kind of right. Kind of creepy old Gene. Also, it's 2022. Who goes by Gene? He's so funny. Ugh. Lamest, la lamest guy on the fucking internet. Stop fucking Jay. Knock it off. I'm well, just gonna kidding. keep doing it now. I mean he's not doing it. Now you're gonna get a bunch of it. I left him open on all the fucking things. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, I forgot I left my DMs open. Ah, I okay, I read that already. Fuck off. Uh I read that already. Yeah. Uh Judge Shent's uh resentencing date for the Tiger King. Jokes. I'm funny if you got more time. <laughs> Uh, Jay Axie, knock it the me. fuck off! My <laughs> God! I'm a Is fat middle-aged man! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Jay! God, everybody can see it. You're not hiding it from anybody. Even if I wanted to get, get some of that. <laughs> Still doing it. Jay, knock it off! No, everybody's fucking DMing me now. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're pretty much inviting yeah, everyone to yeah, DM you at this point. I'm not going to read any of them. Um, the sentencing day for George. Actually, I, let's explore more. Joe Exotic. I'm looking through a film. Yeah, one of those tigers bit somebody motherfucking recently. 
at a zoo. Oh. The guy was like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Well, he's, I think he bit his arm off or some shit. Jesus. That is... Th those animals are fucking... They're, they're, they're literally monsters. Beautiful, but they're monsters. Uh, Resensing for 10 a.m. Transport uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Maldonado passage sentenced uh, January... Sentenced January 2020 to 22 years in prison. But appeals court said that he should uh, have a calculated advisory sentencing range between 17 and, and two and a half years, but between so and just under 22 in prison, rather than just under 22 and 27. Uh, that's well, he's gonna like five years knocked off. Big deal. Yeah, it's I, I thought like they were going to make a case that he should be dismissed because they tried him for the tiger killings, which he did, by the way. I got yes. news for all you jackasses. He, he murdered perfectly healthy tiger, tigers in all likelihood. I'm sure not all of those dead tigers were fucking, you know, you, know, you got to put a cat to sleep. Right. And you don't put a fucking tiger to sleep. You put a bull in his skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guarantee because they need to make room for fucking cubs. Cubs they take yeah. away from their mother as soon as they're born because it's the only way you can even get close to keeping an animal like that in a cage. Yeah. Or much less somebody fucking touch it. It's a wild animal, man. I'm not. I'm not like what's her face. I'm not saying to close all private zoos and shit. But you know what? What's that? Uh, that bitch in Florida's got a point. But yeah. the but her point at the end of the day is I have all the tigers. That's yeah, I mean, that was that's her goal. That. That's her goal. No, yeah. she doesn't go. She, she doesn't. She's not going in it like. She's not going in it like we gotta like you know help them because she uses the same shit. She, she's not going in it like, uh, um, you know, let, let's make this better. This is inhumane. I've changed my ways. No, this is like, I want all the tigers to myself. Yeah. And I'm a sanctuary, not a private. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. Killed her husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought they were going to get this motherfucker dismissed because they tried him for the tigers. At the same time, they tried for the for the murder thing, and it kind of, I'm sure it poisoned the fucking jury. Well, I think things are still kind of, like, in the works, because the murder thing is might be, like, being overturned. That might be. Well, that, that's probably the bulk of the fucking time. Supposedly, the guys have, like, reneged on their, I on guarantee their, uh, you, let's see, if the murder thing wasn't a part of that, he got five years tops. Yeah. If he killed a thousand like, uh, tigers, it wouldn't have mattered. I know, I know that the bald guy, that the one yeah. that he said got paid, has... Uh, said he committed perjury like he yeah. now has reneged on everything he said uh they've all kind of like teamed up to try to get uh tiger king out of yeah jail, make no mistake about it this man deserved to put his prison sentence but um of some kind i don't know it was fucking 20 years i don't know life sentence but um yeah um but uh yeah, I didn't, that that might be too a little too rough. I don't fucking know. But that's you know, you, you you sleep with dogs, you get fleas. Is that is that is that is that how it goes there, Matty? Yes, that is how you it see, goes. You just sleep, sleep with the quote. fleas, you get the fleas. I don't know how's that go. You sleep with the dogs, you get fleas. You get fleas, and that's what he did. All those losers he was around. I heard the one guy that screwed him out of the place is now gonna like testify on his behalf. You know, Betty White's cause of death revealed. Old. All right, um, here we go. David Dobrik says that he hasn't made any YouTube ad money in roughly four years. Look at that face of his. He's like, ah, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> you thought you got me canceled? I don't make money! I've been broke this whole time. That's what I mean. This is why Ethan's wife isn't, like, fucking jumping in his ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, true. Because like, I don't care it's that we don't make our money from YouTube no more. We're a major corporation. Let that monkey, you know, climb with the other monkeys. It's okay. It'll keep him happy. That's fine. He's the face of the company. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry. I got two kids. I would rape him in court. You think he don't Whoa. fuck with me? <laughs> I, I I rape him in court. I take everything. I take his kids and his dick. <laughs> Not much to take. 
but you can take what you can get. And I got a hundred million dollar house. <laughs> Jay, knock it off. <laughs> All right, these Borgdorf twins. The twin died like six days. Like, what's the story on this horse shit? Uh, I, I they're the internet memes died. forever, and they I guess because they fuck with their faces, they want to stay yeah. on forever. Yeah, and they, they died did. Seven, years, seven days apart. Both seventy two. Yeah, and they both 72, and they both died from COVID, and uh, allegedly they both refused the vaccine. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't true, and they're vaccinated, the way things are now. That's why you got to go to um, the media line, I can say that. <laughs> That's why you need to go get me on Getter so I can say outrageous fucking shit. Outrageous shit. 39, I got 10 more followers. I want more. <laughs> I want more. I'm going to say outrageous Shit. But like what this is the kind of stuff you're gonna um you're in for. Watch this. AOC uh, No is a cunt. Uh I just can't even see even if it's on a different platform, like my Yeah, no, listen to you. You're like fucking you shut the fuck up, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> you know? I mean Jesus Christ. <laughs> the like fuck up. Just- Somebody make some so somebody make some memes with Jiminy Cricket and Matt like I don't know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a worst possible scenario kind of guy. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah, the birth seven days apart. Yeah. If they were really twins, they would die the same day. Fucking jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. They're really twins. <laughs> Who was born first? That'd be interesting. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. They were, they were like child stars, and they just hung on forever. Yeah. And they became like a French freak show. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I didn't know they were in their 70s, so I thought they were I didn't know they were in their 70s like either. 62 or something. That's a pretty good plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah. We had no idea. That's the thing. Plastic surgery. It doesn't get like you just look like a weird guy with plastic surgery. But what they can't guess my age. <laughs> well, you win. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Good job. Yeah, it's like you, you look 20 years younger, but your face looks like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> I got a heart attack. <laughs> uh, I, took my, I took my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> That's another thing the good doctor said. When he lost his Twitter account. Uh, Vito, Pat Oswald took selfie on Dave Chappelle's New Year's Eve and had write an entire essay apologize to it. Yeah. I hope his fingers fall off. I, I really do. <laughs> Jesus. I, I hope he gets a rare form of cancer. It doesn't kill him, but his fingers fall off. <laughs> would, you, would you rather have it? I, I hope his fingers fall off and you grow another leg. Uh, okay, I'll take that. I guess. There you go. Feel better? Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Feel yeah, much better. Definitely. Good. Yeah. Finish me at um. For all the new people, um. Uh, Matt's got one leg. <laughs> yes, I not, have one leg. He's not kidding. Yeah. Did you ask if you could keep the old one, one like for posterity? <laughs> What's up? Like when you're in the hospital, can I keep the old one? Yeah. Nah, I was out. I was out while it was. Like, and you woke up and like, "Where's my fucking leg? Like, what kind of keep? Yeah. What's left?" And they're like, "No, man, sorry, we went in the trash compactor. Yeah. We grinded that yeah, shit it's up, all gone. put it in a murder scene, and we're putting a black guy in jail." What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the conversation me my had. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can I can imagine you came, you came to this is the conversation. Mr. Pitt, we had to remove your leg. No, you didn't. Nah. Nah. Nah, yeah. Nah. (laughs) A lot lot shorter ride than my dick. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I remember, I think it was the first surgery I had, so it wasn't amputation, but as soon as I woke up, I just, like, I turned to the nurse and I just threw up. I think that's what happened. Did you know your leg was gone when you threw up? I think my leg was still on because that was the first surgery. The, the, there yeah. was a surgery to try and save it, and then there was a surgery to amputate. So there's 
The first surgery was like a seven hour surgery. Do you think when they take your leg off, they fuck with it? Like, oh, I'm kicking things. Look, I'm a soccer player. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, that would be pretty funny, I guess. <laughs> like, that, yeah, you're not supposed to do that, though. It'd be, it'd be pretty fucking dark. Have you ever heard the story of the, the, uh, the guys having you know what I would do? something? If I had, like, What's really, if I, if I had, like, shorts on, I'd stick your leg, like, in one of the holes of my shorts and say, look at the size of my dick! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, that's actually a meme. There is a meme. Yeah, there. the third leg. Yeah. 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 That's, that was but the you, point. Did you that ever was, hear the story of the guy, the guy who's getting surgery and the, the surgeons are talking shit about him while they're giving him yeah, surgery? Yeah, I, I did he hear that one. That's funny. I bet that happens yeah, a lot. Yeah, he's recording it the whole time. That happens a lot. Because I know it happens to cops. Yeah. yeah. When somebody's dying in front of him and goofing on him. You stupid motherfucker. You stupid <laughs> fucking, you know, Jesus. Right? Dude, speed limit. Now your brains are all over the way. I know cops do yeah. that. Yeah. I know soldiers do it, too. They talk, they, 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 they whisper sweet nothings in your ear while you're bleeding to death. Believe me, it happens. It's not murder. It's not nice. It's not murder. Yeah. Yeah, I sick back for when he wakes up. Should I take a call or two? They better be good. Yeah, Maybe sure. Uh, well, there is one That guy has been waiting there forever, huh? There I don't know if I'm going to take a lot of calls, but I'm going to take some calls. So get in there now. There is one story you wanted me to remind you to what give. Was is the the hmm. Josh Palal the donation one? Yeah, you know what? Just put years would do for Josh Palal. Josh Palal, if you don't know, he was thrown in jail, did time, almost a decade in prison for a joke, like a, a school shooting joke, no joke. And then he's he never really get a fucking re reasonable job again, um, because uh, he's been convicted of being domestic terrorist. They never found a gun, not a firearm, not a grain of gunpowder. Just a stupid kid with an alcohol f a problem. Um, he's come out of jail. He's done really well for himself. He's a friend of our show. Yeah, put his website in there. He's been getting a shit ton of donations. I can't say it's because of me. I mean, Dankula, Charlie's done things on him. He's just a really great guy. And um, I'm not going to pull you, though. He, he got a shit ton of donations the other day. And um, I don't know. See if, he, if he's got something for you. He should hang. If he really wants to make money, he should be hanging around me more. <laughs> you know? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Not Charlie. Yeah, not that Charlie guy. Not Thank you. PK. Keanu Reeves. Tommy's fucking money's Kmart there. Keanu Reeves over there. Yeah, the fuck that guy. <laughs> Jesus. I'm really playing with fire with that one, huh? Yeah. That guy could end me in a finger snap. No, Charlie's great, man. Hey, Ethan. Moist Critical. Most trusted man on YouTube. Well earned and kept. Legend, total fucking legend. Don't say a bad thing about me, please. <laughs> Don't say a bad thing. I'll take some calls. Hood, you're on the air. Hood? All that time, you gonna, you gonna drop it? You gonna drop the ball? Uh, hello? Hello! Yeah, what's up? The answer to this question, how long you been waiting for there? I would say like 45 minutes an hour, I've right? Been, I've been here since the beginning of the show. I've kind of been yeah. just listening in the back. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny I, if I blew I, you up? I, 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 Joy Boy called it. Yeah. Um... Alfie McCarthy, right here. Cardi. I don't know what your name is. Hello? What are you doing? Well, you tell me. Okay, it's done. Uh, uh, not really related to what uh, was on the show today, but on December 17th, the account StuffAndSentence.org posted an obviously edited video by Nick Cardo Avocado. The, the, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not following any of this. Speak clo closer uh, to Mike or something. So... Can I send you the? I think I, I sent it. To no, I ain't clicking your link. Tell me what's going on first. Okay, so uh, on December seventeenth, which was about two weeks ago, uh, the account StopAntiSemitism.org posted oh. this obviously edited video. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's like a Alfredo. month ago, dude. That's old news, man. We we. Oh, I, I don't mean cover it. Oh. I don't think I was working that day. So. The guy, oh, the antisemitism.com well, got one over on me. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, the, well. They rem I'm pretty. They removed it afterwards, but they never actually said anything about it. Yeah, it's pretty. It. Actually, it's actually yeah. hysterical. It was, it was a cell phone, like from hell. Yeah, I saw that. Oh yeah, uh, I'm right. surprised Thank you didn't get more coverage because I found it really funny. Yeah, probably because you hate Jews. 
No comment. Uh, <laughs> Have a good one, man. What the fuck? All right, oh Hood, what do you want? Hood, you're getting a second chance. Get to the fucking point. I they did. left. Yeah. I knew it. Like, nope, this Smart. Ain't. Nope. Thought I was going to blow him up again. I actually wasn't. Yeah. I actually felt bad. Get to the motherfucking point. The motherfucking point. Do I have to sound like a wigger from New Jersey to get you to get to the point? The motherfucking point. Hell yeah. Wigger, please. I'll put you in the hood now, but get to the motherfucking point. <laughs> All right. I sniff Sharpie. Oh, what's up, Tommy? Uh, did you see that Ralph got lost in a blizzard? Did he? Yeah. yeah. He got lost in traffic. Has, like, has he been heard from since? <laughs> 24 hour, like, um, uh, money grubbing fest. Because he got stuck in a blizzard in the highway and some quote unquote based black farmer had to pull him out of the snow. No. Uh, do you want to see the, uh, see the video? This video? Yeah. Is it like BritBarn.com? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come on. <laughs> All right, send it to me now, douchebag. Right. What's up? How are you? No, I'll see Ralph get pulled out of fucking shit. <laughs> that black guy. Oh, hold on there. We're going to get you out of there. Don't you worry there, Mr. Uh, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lordy, you were in the snow for a long time. <laughs> lordy, That's Lordy. Money, I guess for a person of color. Thanks so much. Give me money, by the way. I didn't ask for enough before. <laughs> Get close to your picture, Jack Nicholson. You, 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 you fucking with me? Hold on. Let me see. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, great. Fantabulous. Bit and pointless. Yeah, really and a lot of them just aren't worth keeping shit. track of. But oh. with that said, like, if I were confronted by a demon, consciously or unconsciously, I, I'm pretty sure yeah. I would show visible emotional signs of that in my own behavior, even if I didn't. It, oh, yeah. consciously is, is, is this right? Am I looking at the? I don't know what the fuck I look like. I'm on some crazy ass church. Yeah, what's going on? You sniff uh, sharpies. You can, if you want to see the part in the actual blizzard, you can skip to one twenty. 120. Hope there's not titties in there or some shit. No. Here we go. Understand how bad the snow is. What? Southern oh my god. Snow. There was a car just spun out going the opposite direction. Stuck Can't do it. I'm gonna get fucking claimed. Stop putting music on it. Is that is that a copyright? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It says. I think that's just the gun theme song. I haven't heard it anywhere else. Uh, music in the video. Learn more. Ad free. Yeah, sorry. Can't take a chance. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Well, it's a good, funny story, though. Talk to you later, buddy. Peace. Peace, 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 Hey, Jessix. Hello. They should call you sex -ish. Oh, my gosh, Tommy. Yeah. I want to be like Mikey Perk. We're married. Tommy, Tommy can't you let her talk first before I'm, you do I, this? I, I'm married. You're married. Talk filthy dirty to me. <laughs> I'm telling my husband on you. you know, what's he gonna do? <laughs> He's gonna fly out here Cry. and kick my ass? <laughs> I just came in here to give everybody COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you got COVID now? <laughs> yeah, I have COVID. Everybody's I just tested it, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling so I hope, you, uh, I hope yeah. you guys enjoy chat. <laughs> <laughs> just came Somebody in here to sues give you for giving you. COVID over shot from the point. I want to get. I wanted to get pity points too. You want pity? You want pity points? How you feeling? I feel okay. I mean, it was um, it was worse. Like that's all hooks. So. <laughs> just was, kidding, I mean, just kidding. Just well, kidding. Um, just kidding. Are, just kidding. I mean, I'm not. Um, neither of us are vaccinated. Um, Why not? Oh, that's because you're a right wing wacko. That's right. Well, because I don't. I don't even get the fucking flu shot. Why am I getting the COVID shot? Like I don't, I don't know, care. They work. <laughs> I'm not getting, it just doesn't do shit. All of my family has had the COVID shot, and now everybody has fucking COVID. So well, I would that's be in true. exactly the same no. position no, whether I was vaccinated anybody, is, or not. Is anybody dead? Hmm? Is anybody dead? 
Mm-mm. You know, well, lucky you. No, but he can't. My husband can't get it because he's on immunosuppressants. So he, they're, they're, they told him he's not allowed to get any vaccine, like not COVID vaccine, like not nothing. Gotcha. And I just don't want to get it. I'm not gonna. So yeah, got it now. Um, but they got the but best. It's, not, the best it's really now. not that bad. Like, well, I'm not, this, like, the Omicron, oh, you like, probably have Omi, you probably have Omicron or whatever. The so Omicron, whatever. yeah. yeah you want that motherfucker in March of 2020? I tell you that. No, thank you. Yeah. No, but I had a fever for like three days, and then um. It was weird though. It feels like it's two different viruses. Like I had a fever mm -hmm. and no other symptoms, just the fever and like the body aches from the fever. Yeah, and that was for that. like three days. And mm -hmm. then after that, fever's gone. But now I have like weird sign. Like everything smells weird. I don't have like mucus or anything. You know what I mean? It's just but I ha everything smells weird and like yeah. my throat hurts. Mucus. You should put your yeah. mucus in a jar and sell it for twenty grand a pop or whatever, like that girl did. All right, press one in chat if you'd buy it. <laughs> she's industrious woman, isn't she? <laughs> Would you buy Jesse? Isn't Jesse's a very sexy parents? woman, married or not married. I wouldn't buy her mucus, though. Nothing, nothing personal. I mean, I think come on, married. why not? Because I'm, a, I don't know. I, I, I have a normal sex life, and I'd be able to get along with. I, I it have been able to get. Because like I'm a woman of yeah, color. I, 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 you're not a woman of color. You play, I am. You play Overwatch. Get the fuck out of here. Italian. <laughs> I'm I'm six so percent you know, African. Okay, you, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Star yeah. Gets yeah. The so end are all fast, Sicilians. So do I. Yeah, big deal. You would you would Nick how, should, how, uh, you would Nick should be the head of the NAACP. <laughs> 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 the fuck uh, out of Jesse, here. How bad would it be if someone uh, DM'd you asking for Britney Venti's mu mucus in a jar and they tried to get through you? Um, I, I mean, I get like weird ass messages like that all the time. <laughs> I usually just ignore them. Hey, you want to do love phones? Do what now? Oh, she doesn't know about my doctorate in love. You want to do love phones with me tomorrow? I bet what is that? Uh, we take calls about people's um, love problems. And you could be the female and I'll play the male that knows everything. Oh, what time? Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just show up here five minutes 4 early. 4 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I can. Uh, hell yeah. Love phones tomorrow with... You guys want some advice from somebody who's been in a basically one relationship for the last 10 years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, what, I'm yeah, great at dating. Though, Make something up. No, we weren't even religious when we met. We were both atheists when we met. Cool. Oh, nice. People think I'm like some like longtime Catholic. I've only been re I've only been converted, Christian right? again since like 2018. 2018. Yeah, you're a convert. You're like the you're worst. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, yeah, because I'm I was born Catholic, and you're like into it more than <laughs> I ever home, was. Right? Like they forced me to go to church as a kid. Yeah. For fuck's sake. My, my yeah. grandmother was a convert. And yeah, she, he's Catholic like, too. Really, like pushed it on yeah. on me big time. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm not court. pushy about it. I feel like the best way to be a Christian and evangelize is just just be a good Christian and don't people see are, that and are interested, ca then they'll come up to you and ask see, about it. You're already fucking it up. Catholics don't evangelize. They're not. E they're not even. Um, <laughs> no, they don't. Catholics are supposed to evangelize. They're not. But they don't. They're not. They're not. No, that's, no, that's, that's just my whack. point. Is converts converts jump in head first? I know. They're they like really. About it. I'm into it. Yeah. You know, it, like Seinfeld made that funny. Um, video the anti-dentite episode and the guy was converting Ju judaism and he's like way too into it and like seinfeld's like i think he's doing it for the jokes um those are the funniest episodes he ever did it's probably the only funny i never liked seinfeld but anyway um but yeah i, I kind of that's what he's getting at people that converted to judaism are probably just like come on you get a hold of yourself man i'm a jew and i'm not even like fucking doing this shit <laughs> yeah, so that's probably what they think about yeah no they don't evangelize and they're not um what do they call those uh they're not not evangelical uh of course, they're not evangelical. Um, what do you call it? They take the, they're not fundamental. The Catholics aren't fundamentalists. I don't know if no. you know that. Mm -mm. Not at all. The, like, like, no, they're probably like. The, 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 like Noah's Ark thing didn't need like to happen. It's, it's just this fucking story. I mean, that's the way Catholics look at it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I bet you're going to be them. Like, yeah, Jessica made me go to church, and I don't have to go to church from here. Well, I got to go with her. <laughs> Wait, who? Yeah, what? That's, that's when it, a future fucking yeah. nephew or niece. It just makes me go to church! I'm not making anybody do anything, yeah, you did, you but... Church. I mean, I, you're the, really not a Catholic. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm not going to like force my kids to go to church, you're but they're not really, going to go to brunch after if they don't go to you're church. You're really not Catholic. Let me it's that something. simple. They want, you to stick your, they, want you, they want you to stick your fucking kids in there a lot more than they want you you know, preaching the gospels, believe me. Well, I actually do, like, I actually go to church all the time, so it's just, you gotta it's hit not one of those kids. things where it's like... Here's what you do, you gotta hit people, 
and you got to tell them they're going to burn in hell and fire and brimstone. That um, doesn't. That does the opposite of what my intention is. It, 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 it worked well for my. It worked well for the Calendans. <laughs> but I don't know. It's not like like when I was younger. I never felt like I was forced to go to church, and we went to church like three you times Catholic. a week. I was Baptist. No, I was shit Baptist. Out of me. But we went to church like three or four times a week, and I never I felt like know. I felt like I was forced. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> what no but i had fun at church like i enjoyed going right. when i was younger yeah. so we i mean it was just it was just something that we did it wasn't anything yeah. like d did, not your, going did, did you ever do confession thing. and then um your your priest uh was was digging for masturbation stories like mine was no yeah. i wasn't catholic so yeah <laughs> good you're over they can't take advantage of you as easily but my parents were really involved in church when I was growing up, um, and I, yeah, I was never forced. I just, it was just like, all right, we're going to church well, it, today. And I'd I be think like, you okay, picked the right one. It's the one true religion. Everybody else is a fucking like they're biting off the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is the original true. church. I think you got the right one. You're going right to heaven, lady. <laughs> I hope so. I mean, there's no. We never know. I mean, you never know. But hopefully, I am. I'm, I'm working think, hard. To I can't believe anybody. Would, like, I'm like Jerry Seinfeld with like people converting to be Jews. I can't believe oh, I anybody would convert to be a Catholic. Hit. I think I, I was. I was radicalized by Reddit atheism. Oh, were you? <clears throat> yeah, in like middle. You know what school, made me an atheist? Our atheism. I literally discovered our atheism, and I was like, oh, like they'd be like they'd show like one atheist to me. Hey, you know what made like, me okay, so that's that's that I'm atheist. You know what made me an atheist? The war in Iraq. This is bullshit. I, I mean, that's <laughs> believable. <laughs> this is horseshit. <laughs> you know. So, so if our slash atheism converted you to atheist, and r slash Catholicism converted you to Catholic. r slash Catholicism. Catholicism. It's an alt right. Pipeline, like Ludwig. No, says. no, it's I don't, I don't like I, right. I didn't convert. Well, I was Baptist before I was Catholic. Recently, right. I turned oh, Baptist God. in 2018. I bet you're really annoying then. Holy shit. Um, uh, not really. I mean, I don't know. Baptist I've never been Catholics. like the evangelist type yeah. where I like evangelize. I, I was talk in the to army. Who want to talk about a million it, Baptists you know? and they never shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah I just, so. I don't know. I always I felt like busting, that's yeah. too much. All it does is turn people away. Because having been an atheist, I know how annoying it is to hear shit you don't want to hear. You know yeah. what I mean? I never want to hear shit. I don't want to hear you're right. Yeah, so I would never, like, I'm not trying to, like, evangelize. You know what no, I mean? No, I'm so just you busting your nuts. It, look, you know? look, look, and I really mean this as an atheist. If this makes you happy and makes you feel whole and, and, and it helps your family, your culture, whatever, I'm all for it, dude. Absolutely. I would enjoy it. I, I am not one of those guys that stand over people and say they're stupid. It's you know, so funny because yeah. I was. I wasn't just like you were atheist. One of those? I was like anti-theist. I, like I was like like fedora tipping, like you're oh, really? brainwashed and stupid. I never was like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was like I, that's why I say I was radicalized yeah. by Reddit atheism. Yeah. Like <laughs> So look, can I ask you this? Uh, I've been noticing a trend with Catholics, like younger Catholics that are really into anime. Yeah. Like what is that all about? I mean, I was, I don't know, I was into anime before I was Catholic, I'm not sure. But there is like, a lot of Catholic imagery in anime. Right, okay. Is it really? So maybe that's why, yeah, like, for for example, like, Fire Force no is a really I big anime right now. Shit. And, like, half of the show is, like, Catholic imagery in Fire Force. There's a lot of Catholic imagery. I think the Japanese like Catholics a lot. I think yeah, they, they like get the in, I, I do know this, they get into, like, foreign religions and stuff. Like, they'll even marry, like, it was, it's, like, no big deal in their religion to, like, get married in another church because it's just a fucking show anyway. So, yeah, they, yeah, stuff but like they, that, they, yeah. they, I think, but I think the imagery of the Catholic Church in general is very pretty. Like, it, it has oh, influenced beautiful. a lot of it's art beautiful. in it's the beautiful. West and everything, you know? Oh, so that's a lot of history there. I live right next to, um, uh, what the fuck? A huge Catholic church here. Oh man, Baltimore. in Europe they have yeah. some of the prettiest yeah, cathedrals. Yeah. I, I like that stuff. I mean, I, I, I'm, a, I'm an atheist, but not because I hate people or hate myself or hate my family. I just, I have no feeling, and I, I don't think it sounds logical. Um, well, it's easy. It's an easy conclusion to come to. Um, mm -hmm. Like I'm not. I don't like. I don't blame or hate people for being no, atheists. I, know, like, I get really, it. I've been no, there. I you know. know. I like. I, I, atheists I, are so, You, you really preach to the choir too, because atheists are some of the most religious people I've ever met. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah, they're they they're really just as they, the atheists are just as annoying as like a one of those newborn Christians. They're real fucking annoying. <laughs> Scientologists, they're pretty. But religious. see, like the thing, the thing with like both of them is, is it's like when you become atheist and you've been religious forever, or when you're atheist and you become religious, or like not even atheist, but like when you become like a born again Christian, it's like you literally feel like you've just unlocked this other world, and you want everybody to like have that same experience as you. You know? I don't know what you just said, but fucking anyone just wrote. Tommy has no feeling. Like Matt has no leg feeling. What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. All right, let me get the rest of my college your speed out. Love phones tomorrow with Jessix. How about let's do it? You got nothing to do. You got to go. Let's do it tomorrow. Oh, oh by the way, don't get mad at me, Diva. Assuming. You're next. D- D- uh, Diva, we're, di- we're still doing it. I'm probably going to start doing more love phones. So I'm going to be doing another one this month or maybe early next. So I know I promised you, Diva, you're just on. I'll take you and you're next. And Diva's next after that. Okay. Jessix, right. thanks so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace be with you. Yeah, and with your spirit. <laughs> no, that's not what you say. Peace be with you. And what? also with you. Lift up your hearts. Right, get out of here, you fucking beat. I, I, know, I have that whole thing memorized. Oh, yes, you had to memorize. You're not Catholic. Get the fuck out of here. It's well, because I go all the time. You go all I haven't sale. recently because I've been sick, but I literally go to like the daily mass with my Peace grandma with like, every you. day. And also with you. Also oh, my fucking you. camera froze. It's and with your spirit. They changed it. They changed it? They changed it? They changed oh, it a that long is, time that is ago. Definitely horseshit, it's though. peace be with you and with your spirit. I haven't been in church since like 2000. Yeah, I, I, I haven't been in church since I reached the age of reason. Yeah, they changed it like a long time ago. Get the like, fuck like, out of here. Maybe like a, over a decade ago at least. Yeah. Are you like not in the Catholic church? You're like, I don't call my father about that. My parents, my parents are really religious. Yeah, it's, and with your spirit. Yeah, they changed and a couple also with things you. Lift because up your, they feel like I think like they changed it because it sounded a lot like fucking World of Warcraft. Because I was thinking about it. I forget, I forget what they used to say to each other. The light shot. I forget what the fuck they said. Well, that, was, that was my favorite part was saying and also with you like during church and also with you lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord or whatever the fuck let us give thanks to the lord yo djt i know djt because he's in the islands i know he's catholic so i bet if he says it's true not some fucking new catholic djt dj from the islands so he knows because I, I was ne- I, I didn't grow up Catholic, but my grandparents were Catholic when I was growing up. Yeah. So when I would go with them, they'd, they'd make me go with them to the to the mass on Sundays when we'd go camping and stuff. Yeah. So I knew that, and also with you. And then the first time I went to a Catholic mass was like 10 years later. And I'm saying like, and also with you, and everybody's like, and with your spirit. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Mm. That's not how this was. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but leave me with it. said, Jesus, Mary, and Holy Pikachu. <laughs> I don't think that that's that's how it goes. That's not how it goes. No, I'm just kidding. No, mm-hmm. All right, let me, I don't think so. I want to. I want to. I want to play video games. So I got to get to my calls and I'll call it a night. I'll see All you right. tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. See you tomorrow. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Bye bye. Bye chat. Bye bye. Well, see, I'm I'm doing the work. Yeah. On a Wednesday show, no less. That's because I missed the other one, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, motherfuckers. I'm back. Back. I'm back. All right, let's get to it. Uh, the the Pele, you're on the air. Do a bicycle kick. Hello. I can't. No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if you could. You probably yeah, still could do it. Could you jump, leave the ground? Like, I don't know. It would look weird. That's for sure. Be funny. <laughs> yeah. Pele, you there? His his microphone's on. I don't. I can't hear. Oh my god. There's an asteroid headed towards Earth, and I gotta tell you, Tommy C. Oh. Um. Yeah. Ryland, Ryland, you're on the air. How are you? Something wrong with the fucking Discord today? I, uh, I don't think so. Ryland, he's probably dead. he's probably an Android glitch. You don't even look like he's on the phone. It's just a fucking Discord glitch. The fucking thing doesn't work half the time. Well, let's uh, try Mari. She, she's usually good about it. I don't want two. I like to hear two women voices in a row. Um, so. <laughs> well, I mean, we might not have a choice. Yeah, Kaylee, we might not. Caleb Green Jr. That whatever your name is, go. I guess we're gonna have that. No, we're not gonna have that choice. Yo, hold on. Oh, here we go. Hey, right, what's up? How are you, sir? Tommy, what's going on, brother? How are you, sir? Hey, shit. How you been, man? I've been alright. I've been just chilling. I'm right. here. What's on your mind, brother? Shit. You recognize me or not? I know this is the most fascinating conversation I've ever had. I can't believe why I don't. Uh-huh. What the fuck? No, I don't recognize. Who, who, who is you, yo? Remember eight thoughts? No, I, I can't Remember even hear eight you. Thoughts? Eight thoughts? It's blue. Oh, oh, it's blue. Blue. How are you? How's jail? Shit, it was I, right, bro. I was in there for like a month. Uh, yeah, they violated my probation fucking over some stupid ass reasons uh, it's because i i was on ankle monitor mm. and they had a curfew for like 10 o'clock but I was are you are you are you uh up. are you legally on the internet now well i've always been legally on the uh, internet yeah they, they never uh, didn't the judge tell you to say take the fuck off or anything 
Or Dude, you're good uh, now. all their charge was was online impersonation. That's all it was. Like, yeah. Because allegedly I made a Twitter account with his name on it and his profile picture. And apparently if it's like on a public social media platform, it, it's considered a felony. Mm. But if it's like over text or phone number, then it's yeah. a misdemeanor. You're right. So really, that's all they had. And it, see, the stupid reason I made was uh, talking to the detective in the first place. If I had just like shut my mouth and just went home, that's they wouldn't have had the me. They wouldn't have arrested me because I yeah, never did anything nothing. illegal. After so, all. so um, are you uh, are you leaving Drifter alone? Right? I haven't even talked to him. Well, <laughs> he's been going on his live streams telling people that I'm still like messing with him and all that. Are you still messing with him? I got no idea what he's talking about right now. Like I got are my you still messing with him? shit going on. Huh? Are you still messing with him? Nope. Don't. I like you... it, it's it's literally over with. Like we had yeah. a fun, you know, we trolled him a little bit. That's it. Trolled him a little We're bit. Done. It's fucking but like legitimate harassment. You both should be. You, he should have done some time too. Fucking eight thoughts. <laughs> Why would he do time? What? Harass harassment. Harassment's illegal. And it's harassment. not like I'm a feminist and you said something mean to me in Twitter harassment. You guys repeatedly did it for years. You're out of jail. You both so you, think, you you did some time. So you, I think you probably did the right amount of time, and uh, he probably should do. Cool. So let me ask you this: You really think it's worth it for the government to go ahead and spend? I, just, I mean, yeah, so you can ask me that all you want. I don't care. I think I think I think it's great that that folks like you that are torturing I mean, other people fucking go to jail. He, yeah, I think it's great. I, I feel. I think I it's a, I think it's our justice system off. working. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I feel I'm glad that he got his channel taken down, but I feel like also he deserved it because he. Yeah, he did. So did you. You both bus. deserved it. He threw me under the bus. After you, I got locked. Oh, up, he did. Of course he did. Of course he did. He blocked me. You would have thrown him under the bus like, too. Yeah. He didn't even like fucking agree to send me the donations he got from that stream, even though like we agreed to like share them. He's like, nope, uh, I never told you that shit. And he just blocked me. I was like, wow, okay, so. Shocking. Fail on yeah, you ruined his life, his only income. He's like a, he doesn't even have cancer. He can't like hold down a job and you fucking, well, it's his uh, responsibility. So. Don't worry about him, dude. His family is rich. He probably has savings and all that. So Music. he'll be all right. You know, right. I just think it's a douche move. I, I talked to him a while back. I talked to him. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, you know, like this is what happened. I'm on probation now. Yeah. yeah they gave me um, So legally, I'm not a convicted felon because I uh, pleaded for deferred uh, probation. You got it? Means I plead guilty, but the judge doesn't find me guilty. Okay. So as long as I complete all my probation requirements and shit, which is uh, three years, I could have got two years, but I was like, you know, just get it over with. Give me three years. It's not even a big deal to me. You know what I mean? Mm. So I got the three years. And as long as I complete all the conditions, which is 100 hours community service, courses and all that, I already completed most of it. I got 80 hours community service so far, so I only got 20 hours left. After you're lucky that, my brother can get you. You're, you're lucky my brother did get you. Huh? You know who my brother is. Who's your brother? Uh, you called him. Is he a fed? Yep. And oh, the only reason you're, you're not doing federal you. time, I think, is because he figured Texas would take care of it. I mean, I don't... What yeah, do you that was think pretty was stupid, huh? With? Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. Well, I, I hope you learned your lesson. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't you, of, you, you really want to go back to that shithole country in Eastern Europe you're from? I mean, Eastern isn't it better Europe. to be in America? Why don't you, like, abide by her laws, you know? Eastern Europe. You aren't you, know aren't you fucking Eastern European uh, originally? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, well, I, I think you should be deported. That's what it has I'm to my do. Own, I'm my own entity, sir. I'm a U.S. citizen. You know. Yeah, that, but right? where are you from? I'm uh, just a person acting on my own, you know, accord. I don't. I, I never said you didn't. I, I said, feel like I, fucking with people. I'll fuck with people. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, oh so you're not. Right so you're not done. Person. You're not done. What do you mean I'm not done? Well, you said I'll fuck with people if I want to fuck with people. You didn't. So. Yeah, I'll do it if okay. I want to. That's okay. my freedom. But it's That's not right. like I'm doing it right now. No, no, no. I, I kind of, you know, you plan to mature enough. You plan like, to I'm come up a bigger. How do you how do you top the drift to troll, bro? I mean, really? Could you ever really top that? Do I need to top it? Oh, no, no, of course no. not. I'm asking a question. Like, I'm not, I'm now, not. now that I look back at it, I think I should have held. It. Like, I, like I, I think I matured as a person, and I see that you know I was kind of being an asshole with that situation. Like I should have probably not did as much as I did. You think? <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, with all the lies that Drifter has put out about me and shit, yeah. fucking telling people I wanted to kill him and shit. I mean, uh, you showed up the house with a gun. You showed up. You showed up his house with a gun, dude. 
You, you, Dude, you don't think he might have gotten that impression? Everybody carries guns. Well, I understand I that, but you were harassing him for phone. years, and then you showed up at his house, and you had a fucking loaded firearm in your glove compartment. Our, I mean, when, before but I went you know, there, if he's a, if, if Drifter plays was, a little fast and loose with the truth, I kind of get it. You know, and maybe he actually not tell. Maybe he's not lying. Maybe he actually I feels had a that ski way. Mask on in my car. I had a yeah. ski mask on. I was put on a ski mask. Dude, I was on live stream. Like nobody saw a fucking ski mask. He thought he was talking. Yeah, about, yeah, but, oh, but why? Why, why should he not? Why, why should he? Why did. shouldn't he feel that his life is danger when you've been doing all this crazy shit for years? You got a fucking other YouTuber backing you up doing it, and you show you have a loaded firearm and you're fucking love the arm. On a live stream with like 700 people watching. That's what why I would he tell say. people like, that? Because he believed it was that? true, and he said that's his freedom. Hey, there's a guy outside with my house with a gun. I think he might want to try to kill me. What a what a stretch. But he would have been wrong. You know, I never stepped out of my He would have been wrong. Well, well if he was right, I got, I, if he was right, we wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? <laughs> you know, what, the fuck, was, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? All I did was... <laughs> Dude, I'm not a violent person. I don't hurt Oh, people. you're not a violent, not a violent person. person? Okay, like but you see how Drifter might have come to that crazy conclusion? <laughs> I mean, I don't... I never yeah. sent threats to him online. I never yeah. told him I was going to hurt him or nothing. Mm. No, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I might have stripped I might have been able to put two and two together. I don't know. Please find one instance of me telling him I'm gonna physically harm him. Well, I don't. Please. I don't think it really matters. I mean, you know, there's plenty of guys that you know That's stalked and murdered like, people and haven't fucking so much of let them know who the fuck they were until it's too late. I mean, yeah. You know, huh? Like, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a lie. I think he believes that. That's what I'm saying. I think he believes yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, he believes crazy. that because he's crazy. Like, he's got all this testosterone. He's crazy. Like, I think he's got his shit together. I, I think Drifter's okay. I think I think he's yeah. totally functioning adult. He, he can do it by himself. I think he's just fine. I I, I, I don't know. He never went to jail once. <laughs> you oh. know. Drifter, <laughs> he managed to stay out of jail. <laughs> For what? What would he have done to go to jail? I don't know, man. All right, man. Thanks for calling. Yeah, like, I, appreciate, dude, I, I appreciate dude it. Dude, as square as can be, dude. I asked him if he wanted some weed, and he's like, nah, it's illegal in Texas. We can't have that. Well, maybe. maybe that's, <laughs> that was actually that's, cool. It's, it's illegal everywhere. And then he went, well, actually, not anymore. Yeah, and then he went on his uh, live stream. He's telling people, oh, I've always been a drug dealer. I've always, you know, like... Shot at people and like beat up people and fought people. Drift just said, just like, if Drift just said that, you said it to type. fucking me. Huh? Drift just said something like he's a gangster or something. You said that shit to me. All right, I gotta get going because I want. I wanted to. I wanted to go. I want to. I want to go to bed. Do you want to play Fortnite? No. Um. No. Not at all. I want to talk to Mango. Like, all right. Take care, man. Bye bye. Um. I would promise. Uh. Flam, stay on, man. I, I'll finish the show with you. Mari, what's up? Hey. How are you, sir? Hey. Ma'am. Excuse me. Doing good, just worried about my mom still. She's in big. Yeah, your mom's pretty sick, right? She got the old. Yeah. Uh, everybody's got the fucking uh, the coof. Yeah, um, she was diagnosed with COVID on New Year's. Is Eve. she on? Is she in the hospital there? Or? No, thankfully no. Oh, that's they good. said she would be if her oxygen levels dip below ninety. No, that's God, really does. they have it. Does she know who I am? She knows a little bit about you that I watch you. So she we can try to cheer her up. Yeah. Wait, try, I, told her, to her? I, I told her, I said I might try to get Jeff to text her too, to cheer her up. Too, she likes Jeff? Yeah, she, yeah, she's pretty Can you put her in speaker in both of us? Or is she's she a bitch? With, she's not, she's not in the same home as me. She's in a, She lives in a different town. Oh, okay. Than I, do, so. I said that now. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she's probably asleep right now as it is. Why don't, why don't we call her up and say we got married and you're moving to Germany? Be funny. <laughs> Made it cheer up. She probably would, can. She'd probably be okay with it more than one. <laughs> get this! Time. Get this broad out of my house! She's got to go. I thought she would go. She's a pretty girl. Take her. <laughs> my, my mom's a flirt. Like I had to. I, I also had to warn Jeff that like you meet my mom, she's gonna be flirty. So yeah. she's a flirt. All you right. ever meet her? She's a flirt. How old is she? She's mid fifties. Well, ten years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, why? Um, all right, you take care and, and give your mom my best. Seriously, and if you have to go to this part of the video right now, hey mom, hope you get better too. I'm Tommy C. I hope you watch out for the point. If you really like the show, I suggest you donate. All right, have a nice game, Mari. Right, bye bye. <laughs> take care. Bye bye. And Flam the man is that the real Flam? Yeah, he's a fuckhead. That's Flam. I just, yeah, I just, I just made him a fuckhead. So that way, is that real, Flam? Yeah, that's yeah, no. him. 
Play them to me. As one. As I, God. I played. I played the game a little bit. Um, uh -huh. It's a pretty sophisticated fighting game, actually. Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah. I'm I'm really enjoying. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. You know, you know um, the thing is, you know what I'm problem doing because you know I'm in other games and stuff. Like, I really got to go. I, you really got to give that work, man. Like that. Yeah. You gotta you gotta put some. You gotta put the time in because you'll wipe the fucking floor with me if I don't like. I probably should put like two hours into those things and those time. I don't know. I won't even remember the motherfuckers. I, I mean, I'm just getting into like the uh, the the larger mechanics. Like, I'm I'm really? trying to incorporate Roman cancels into my uh, into my combos, and it's is that uh, the cancel that if they success? try to like do a low kick in the corner that you can fucking counter it? Uh, yeah, it just it basically like interrupts the frame animation, and then you get to like go into another thing while they're still uh, oh, hit cool. stunned. That's pretty cool. Like, yeah, uh, I got, I got, I got to get practice, you know, because uh, yeah, last yeah, time, yeah, last yeah. time this happens, uh, Ralph went like, I think, I, I, I don't think he won a single match against Jim. Dude, you're and, gonna get your uh, ass kicked by Jim. I've seen. I'm, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked by Jim, but I, I only have to, I only have to win a couple of them to like uh, at least put up a good showing. How did you know this, what I mean? How did I'm, this come about? How did you, did you always, did you know Jim from your time with Ralph or? Uh... Um, well, I've like I've talked to Jim on Ralph's show a couple of times, okay. and I think like once Jim had a like a call-in stream, and I called in there before I like did internet shit, and gotcha. I was just like, you know, I'll, I'll send like five dollars super chat, and uh, we might get like a chuckle out of it. But it's uh, it's confirmed on uh, Saturday at uh, five p.m. Eastern. It? You guys streaming it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, gonna stream I'll, it. I'll you know, I'm gonna root for you, Flam. I'll be pulling for you. Yeah. So what do you got to do? Like, what's the uh, what's the yeah, what's the Evo? Like, how many times you got to beat him? Do, do you get something if you beat him, or just like bragging rights? I think it's just bragging rights. Yeah, I mean, he might he might add something onto it. If uh, if I win, I, I I would like to like force him to watch a um oh God. a uh, oh, fucking uh, anime. Uh, no, it's not anime. It's not anime. It's actually you probably have uh, to force him to watch. There's it. a there's a French TV series, uh, French animated series that I think he'll cuties, really like. right? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, it's a, it's a. Yeah, I heard of that like from a, Vito. <laughs> like a TV series called Last Man that I really enjoyed. Um, the, the director made like, um, like mm. twelve years ago, made like a really kind of like, I, I want to say like, uh, you really, movies, really right? kind of cult animation series yeah. or music video, um, which I think like probably everyone in the internet seen. So mm. that's that's how I explain it. All right. Well, who are you? Uh, who did you pick up in Strive? I have it. I'm still going through the fucking uh, the what you call it. I don't pick up it. The, whoever they give you in the uh, in the beginning, a bad guy, whatever his name was. Oh, Soul, yeah. Soul, yeah. the bad guy. That's a funny name. Yeah, Soul's yeah. Soul's good. Um, I've been uh, slowly but surely learning Faust, and uh, hopefully, I, I think I want the girl that swings well. an anchor around. That's fucking interesting. Oh yeah, May. He has a bizarre yeah. characters in that game. Well, and yeah, I never. All, well, here's the thing. I don't want like anything that. to do with that fucking story. I am. I have a completely normal sexuality. I do not want that to change. <laughs> and I just want to. You, but you don't have any sort of. Looks like a uh, goddamn good fighting disorders. game. Flamenco. I think this is a first class game. I, I'm glad you uh, talked me into this. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's really good. I'm actually gonna probably pick up the DLC because uh, some of the DLC characters yeah. look like they're fun. Tell you too. what, when the whole gym thing well, let a week go by, you know, let the gym, I hope you get a lot of subs out of that. Good luck with that. And then maybe we could play offline or maybe stream one day down the road because I was making cracks before. I'm like, oh my god, everybody's gonna think everybody's gonna think that I'm fucking trying to steal your thunder. And I'm certainly I Oh no, I don't care. Yeah, I, like, I, I know I, you I didn't think you care, but I've doing, you know, I figured I've been doing I've been doing practice streams and like anybody who All wants right. to come on is like free to come on. So <laughs> after the gym um, thing, maybe we, we can practice privately. And then maybe we do some streams. How about that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. Thanks I'm for calling. Forward to it. Hey, actually, yeah, I'll just end the show up. with. Yeah. No, thank, thanks for coming on. All right, everybody. Say goodbye to Flamenco. Say goodbye to me. Say goodbye to Mr. Bad Pitt with the one leg. He said goodbye to his leg a long time ago. Did you have a name for your leg? Did you have a name for What's it? Up? Did you call your name, your leg, anything? Like, I don't know, Matt? Why would I call my leg? Like, oh, bye. See you again later. I died. Identities, okay, you cool with Jason Bourne Running with these Wolverines, okay, you bout to
cats are stored. I'm not your leg, I'm on the block, I'm not taking you in the teeth. I'm not your legs, I don't give me no grief. Spin fives, black stones. That's it, I cut your motherfucking leg off. Uh, don't make me read the meagles to you like I'm shit again. Yeah. They feel my struggle, I express it through my hip hop. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm about to make it hard to breathe. Here's Goodbye, everybody. GI6 tomorrow, love hunts. Thanks, Flamenco. I appreciate it.